Hey guys, um, alright, this is going to be a review for the Beats by Dr. Dre Mixers, and this is my first pair of uh, Beats headphones, so uh, let's get right into the unboxing. Alright, well, this is a really big box, so you're going to see like a lot more of the desk than you usually see, but um, the front of the box just has a picture of the Beats Mixers um, with saying Dr. Dre Mixers. David Guetta is the person that helped make these mixers, and on the side, just show you more of the side. Um, on the back, just uh, shows you how they can fold up right there, shows you the top of them, says a little bit about it, and it says it in a different language, tells what comes in the box, as you can see uh, right there. I don't have the autofocus on, actually. Um, but it says it comes with those things right there. Um, on this side, just says a little bit more, high definition, sound, stuff like that. Um, tells you about the... Um, inline controls with that and stuff for the iPhone and stuff. Um, now this is just a um, sleeve that comes right off. Um, inside is just black. Um, I'll put this right here. Now on the front, uh, I don't know if you can see it, it has a beat symbol right there. It's red on red, but it's kind of cool because it's um, shiny and this is matted. Now all around is just um, black on the bottom. Uh, it actually has something. Um, just says a few things about it. Um, and all that. Um, so let's get into this. Now, right here is actually magnetic, so it keeps it connected to that. Um, now this is a really big box. Uh, there we go, it actually all fits on the screen. Okay, so right here, um, it, that's all that's in this place. Comes with this, um, uh, like carrying case. It's hard, um, and it's like really nice and just really. I don't feel like I'm going to break my beats when they're in there. Um, and then right here, which is Velcro, very strong Velcro. It actually ripped the box a little bit the first time. Um, see, it, it sort of sucks because it comes undone right there. But um, it comes with two different kinds of cables. This one's uh, more thick, and it has this little thing right here that stretches out. Um, and it's like this, and it comes with a connector like this. Uh, sorry if it's blurry, it's, I'm new with this camera right now with recording and stuff, and I really don't know how to fix it, and I'm using new software, so I don't know how good it's going to look, but, um, so it comes with this, and there's a spring inside, which is actually really good, and it just clips in, and it clips, and, yep, pretty cool. Um, so here's this, um, put it right there. And then this is the cable that most people are probably going to use. It's just for your normal listening to your iPod or iPhone or whatever you have. Here's the inline controls in the middle. It has the button that um, just pauses or plays. You just click it. Very clicky. And then um, up and down. So that's cool. Um, and one of them is at a right angle. So, holy. This thing has a lot of fingerprints. Oop, just turn it on. Oh, well. Well, um, you know what? Let me just flip it around so it doesn't distract you. Okay, well, um, so this cable is really nice. Both of the cables are gold plated up here. Um, let me just put this away. It was strapped with a velcro little thing right here, which is really nice. Um, it comes with a lot of booklets in here, which you really don't even need to use them, but it comes with a few booklets there. Um, and then this is really good uh, part. It comes with a um, microfiber cloth. You know what, let me actually uh, focus this here, so you can see it. Uh, I accidentally stopped it, but um, yeah, it has a nice little uh, beat symbol right here. Um, really nice. Uh, I actually have had it out of the package before, and I just put it back in for this. All you have to do is um, just open this right here, and uh, just take it right out. And it's really nice, it cleans it really well. Um, Alright, so let me focus it back down to here. Alright, so sorry for this. I'll get good with this um, camera and everything. Alright, so that's it with the box. Let me just go ahead and uh, put all this away. Um, I'm going to zoom up now. Just a little bit. Okay, so now uh, let's just put a few of these things away. And actually get to look at the beats. I might actually need this cord. Okay, so um, this is the um, hard case itself. 
Um, just has the Beats logo right here and the Beats logo on the zipper, both sides. Um, and it unzips. Really nice. And then it opens up with a nice place right here to put your cord, which I use. And then it has a nice little strap right here to hook on your Beats. Now this is how they look when they are first in there. They are folded up. Really nice. Really um, convenient uh, way to be able to put stuff away. Um, so you just flip it out on both sides, um, and they look like this. They're really nice. Um, this part is metal um, on both sides. Very, I mean, they said this is the most metal they've used on a pair of Beats, although I do think the pros may have used more metal, I'm not sure. But um, really nice, very detailed, um, just really soft pads. Now, this is the thing, like... People say that this is extremely tight because it has a metal um, bar in here to make it so it doesn't like snap or whatnot. But, you know, I like it tight. It is tight, but, like, it just makes it feel like that they're not going to fall off. Like, that you can run or uh, do whatever and they're not going to fall off. And it's also that so you can put it up one side and they just won't slide off your head or whatever. Um, and this cord right here is very thick it's not gonna if you get caught on something it's not gonna rip or snap or whatnot um folds out really nice um this is it has two cord slots but um and when you're using one of them the other one is so someone can plug up their headphones and listen to what you're listening to which is really cool um very i i just really like this design very nice and i think the first ones monster helped with the mixers but on these ones, it's just all beats. There's no monster or anything on it. Um, so, to tell that it's left or right, here, uh, let me focus up here. Okay, so it's either. Let me see how we're gonna be able to do this. It's either look under the metal thing right here to see if it's left or right, same on each side. But on the right one, there's this little knob right here. That I always use to feel and uh, see which one it is because this one is all flat over here so that's really nice um, let me focus it so uh, I always for some reason I always put my cord on the left side but you can use it whichever side you want this is what it looks like this looks like that really nice you can put it on either side now um, one I have had these beats before Christmas I bought them myself they're two hundred and fifty dollars um, but the, there's a, a bad thing. Well, something happened to these that are sort of suck. Like, I think it's the left side. It will just, like, slide down when you shake it and stuff. I mean, I mean, here, let me check. Well, usually it'll slide down, and both sides actually slid down. But it was doing it, like, I can't really get it on camera very good. But, I mean, they'll just, like, slide right down, and they're supposed to stay up. And it didn't look bad on camera, but when you have it around your neck, you'll notice that the left side will slowly stay down. And they don't click, they just slide. Like, you can't hear any clicks. I mean, you'll be able to hear it, like, stop a little bit, but, I mean, you can... It's... I really... That's something that I really don't like about the Beats, uh, the mixers, that they slide. And I usually like to have it even on each side, but I usually just put it a little bit under the letter, or the right or left letter. Um, but... You know, I, I don't know, it really bugs me on these ones. And when I first had the Beats, there was this uh, little mark right here from when where they were um, put up like this. And then in the box, they were hitting up against that the whole time. So there's always going to be that little like line, and I can feel it. But the pad is actually really soft up here. It's really nice. I like it. Um, if you have long hair like me... Um, it, after a while I've had this on, it feels like that it's like pulling your hair or pulling on your hair. I don't know if it's slid and it's, because it uses rubber and that's really not good, but I don't know. Um, I don't know if that's going to be a problem for everyone else, but I felt that and I, it's sort of, I don't know, I had to take them off for a little bit to see how it was. Um, but I mean, I don't think it's too tight. I think it's okay and I wouldn't like it too loose because I just feel that they would slide off. I don't know, I really like these headphones, and there's a lot of things that people said about it that when I got mine, I really didn't see that or whatever. But, um, so, 
I think that's been my review. Um, I'm going to go over to the place I usually go over and talk, and I'll see you guys soon. Alright, so, um, I didn't say it over there, so I'm going to say it right now. These, um, headphones and mixers have very deep bass, and it's amazing. Like, I just can't get over how good, like, the bass is. And for people that haven't had headphones that have good bass before, it's probably going to react the same. Like, it's just way different than I thought in a very good way. And the bass doesn't drown out everything else, like, everything, I, I can hear everything. There's not, like, something that is muffled or muddy or whatever. It's just, it's very good, like, I heard that the studios have drowned out bass, like, the bass drowns out everything, or anything like that, but these ones do not. Like, I hear everything I should hear, and probably more. And, um, you, I actually do wear these with my hat, and all I have to do is adjust it, like, right there. And these things do have um, uh, sound cancellation a little bit, and like they're really nice. They they don't look too small or too big or whatever. And I think the um, Solo HDs looked kind of too small. I didn't like them. Um, and they they're cheap, and I I mean like they just look cheaply made. I I don't have anything against the Solos, and people that have Solos, it's probably a really good headphone. And um, I don't know, I just didn't feel like getting the solos, and these ones are the best looking ones for me, I think, I really like these. If I was going to get another pair of Beats, it was going to be the Pros. And, um, I didn't have enough money for that, so I went ahead and got these. Um, but, um, I got new software today, I've never used it before. So, I don't know how it's going to look, and I hope it looks really good. Um, sorry if it doesn't, and sorry about the video today, I did notice a... It's a little bit blurry, and I, I it just wasn't very good today. But um, bear with me. Uh, as soon as I get the new computer, or just right now, um, I should be getting used to it. Um, this is how I started with my first camera and my first videos. I wasn't very good. It was bad quality and all that. So um, I think it'll be getting much better and um, stuff like that. Um, but back to the beats. These things can get very loud, and they will sound very good. Like they aren't crackly. And I don't feel like I'm going to blow the speakers like that. Um, my brother has a Xbox, and Xbox 360 or whatever, and, and a PS3. And um, when I, he has a Turtle Beach, and so there's a box that I can plug in my headphones. And when I use that for this, it's amazing. Like, I don't know, it's just everything. There's a, a whole bunch of stuff going on at once, so, and I hear it all, and it's just crazy. Um, and one video that I watched about these said that they aren't surround sound, but no, they are surround sound. There's, um, they're, it's actually a really good surround sound. Um, so yeah, uh, if you're getting a pair of beats, go ahead and get the mixers as your first ones if you haven't got uh, any beats already. Um, and I don't see any reason to upgrade to the studios or anything. I actually do think these are an upgrade from the studios because I know the studios are more expensive, but I heard the, these ones are better. But... I don't know, I haven't used the studios, so I couldn't say. But, um, yeah, these are great headphones. Sorry about the review today if it wasn't very good. But, um, alright, well, I'll see you guys next time.